Hello, 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 and welcome to this data hands on workshop. My name is Khuram Aziz Fani, and I'm a researcher, entrepreneur, and aspiring data scientist. Uh, the main focus of this video is to familiarize yourself with the Stata software. I'm using Mac operating system, so let me use the Mac magic and load this data. There you go. So here we have our Stata. Let me quickly configure it so that we can see what we will have in the Mac operating system. All right, there we go. And we have our Stata software loaded. Starting from the top, on the top of the video, you can see the name of the program, which is Stata, S-T-A-T-A. -A. Followed by the version of the program, which is 15.1 for advanced users of Stata, this version thing is important as Stata keeps on updating its system and data analysis. So if you are an advanced user who look at the update on the Stata's website, then version number is relevant to you. Another important thing to note is that there are different versions of Stata based on the number of variables. Uh, the version that I'm using has the capacity to handle 5,000 variables at a time. I'm sure you understand that's huge. Here you can see maximum number of variables is set to 5,000. Moving on, as you can see, SATA is up and running. So let's move on to the next step, which is understanding the interface of SATA. As you have opened up SATA, you should be able to see the SATA interface in front of you right now. So in this tutorial, we are just going to go through the basics of Stata interface and get you familiar with how to use Stata and the basics of it. So the first thing you are going to notice when you open up Stata is that there are a bunch of windows. So we have one, two, three, four, and five windows in front of you. I'm sure you can see that. Uh, there are two general approaches to handling Stata. The first one is obviously the drop down menus. I'm sure you can see a couple of drop down menus here in Stata. Let me quickly click on those. We had file, edit, view, data, graphics, statistics, user, and window. And then the other approach is basically the command prompt. I'm sure you can see the word command written here. So out of these two, the drop down menu option and the command menu, the command menu is the command option is the one that we will be using. When we use command menu, we have to manually type in all of our commands in the command window. So let's start with the drop down menus. The first thing that I want to do is to discuss with you briefly how to use the drop down menus. Now where you use drop down menus or the command line, it's your preference. Uh, using command line is basically a little bit difficult, but this is something that you will end up using as it saves lots of time. But now, but for now, let's quickly explore what's available for us within these drop down menus. The first menu is file. The file menu that we are going to look at is the file menu. You can use this menu for different options. For example, you can use open for opening an existing data set. You can use import option for importing data from an Excel file, from a CSV comma separated variable file, from a text file, and then there are SAS and there are, then there are other associated file types. You can also export data into different options. You can use save and save as file options for saving your existing data sets. This menu is a sort of workhouse within this data because you, you, you start your work from this menu. Moving on, the second menu that 
is going to come in handy pretty frequently that you will end up using on a regular basis is your data menu i'm sure i'm sure you can see this uh, there are pretty good options that you can use from this drop down menu you, for example you can use this menu to look at your data for example you can use this uh, this menu to look for describing your data you can also use this data for manipulating for creating different options for for looking at that uh, for changing data for sorting data for so anything anything dealing with your data you are probably probably going to do it through the data menu on the other hand we do have graphics menu it is also pretty intuitive any graph you want to make you are going to do through this graphics menu probably the second most important drop down menu that we will be using in this course is the statistics menu so this is the menu where all of your finance marketing data analytics bioinformatics etc commands will be located if you want to conduct any type of analysis in stata you are going to do it using a statistics menu the final drop down menu that we are going to use on a very frequent basis is the help menu so if you want easy access to stata help documentation or searching for help in stata you can do so through this help menu so now as we have explored different drop down menus we are going to look at the command window or the windows within the stata so this is the command window i'm sure you can see the word command written here and this is the results window so any command that you will type will go here in this in this uh, uh, window so any results that you will obtain out of this command will come in this window this is basically review you will see all the work that you have done in stata in this window and this is this window is basically uh, when you load a file into stata you will see different types of variables in this in this uh, uh, window so let's explore these one by one when you open up stata you are going to see there are five windows available to you there is the results window this is where the results of any analysis you are doing in stata will going to appear then there is a command window if you want to type commands into stata every command you are going to type in it's going to be through this command window next we have the review window once you type the command in this stata or if you run a command from the drop down menu that command is going to appear in this review window and that's very useful because when you go back and you can access those commands that you have previously run just in case if you want to treat them we are going on a different variable variable so you can use these commands and then you can apply those on a different variable so that's all about the review window next we have the variables window so once i would have a data set open in front of you so all the variables will stay in this window and last in stata 12 and the other options the later versions we have a new window which is called properties window the other little tab down here is properties and what it has it has the tail of the variables if you click on a specific variable in the variables window you will find details of those variable here in the properties window now we had a general tour of stata so if you have a data set that you want to lead into stata you are going to either need to import it using the import command if you have an excel sheet etc etc but uh, i'm going to provide you uh, with a stata data set so if you already have that dot dta stata file you can just go to file open and you have to find where you have saved your data set so let me do that for you so i go to file open so i had this data file somewhere located on my desktop so i'm going to click on this and then i'll be pressing open so you can see we have the results window we have command window and there you can see 
that we, as I told you earlier, that this is our review window. So in this window will remind us all the commands, all the actions that we have done in this data. So the first thing that we have done in Strata is we started using this ZZMR61FL dot DTA. Dot DTA is the extension of Strata files. So we use this. So this is the results of the command. This is the results of the command. These are all the variables that we have in this particular data file. I, I'm sure you can see lots of variable. So as I just discussed with you, whenever we click on one particular variable, the properties window will show the features of this variable. So let's click on household number or let's click on month of the interview. So the name of variables is MV006 label is month of the interview type is by format let's skip these details we will discuss these details in another lecture but for the timing just remember that properties window will show us details of a particular variable and this is obviously the command window we have already touched upon this so if you want to play around with any data set so make sure you have to make a copy of it because you if you make any changes in the data set it will be stored in the data file and will influence subsequent analysis now as we have opened the data file next thing is to have a feel of the data if you have collected data through primary search you should be aware of the nature and kind of the variables and the type of data that it is collected even this is also true for your secondary data However, as I have obtained this data from an online repository or I just want to shade the nature of data and kind of variables, so I have to dig into the actual data before applying any statistical data analysis techniques onto it. For this, a good starting point is through the data browser, which is an icon appear here with a little magnifying glass and the data editor with a little pencil. So there's a substantial difference between the data browser and the data editor. I'm going to open the data browser. What it allows you to do is it allows you to browse through your data. The keyword here is the browse. So I can't make any changes to my data set using the data browser. Just want to look at the data set. If you just want to look at the data set, you can do so through this browser window. So this is our first observation. And then we have got different variables, M1, M so on, and blah, 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 blah. So we have got So we have got lots of things in this. Moving on. Let's come out of this. The other thing is data editor. If I want to make any changes or manipulation to my data set, in this case, I just don't want to do anything. I'm just letting you know how to do it if I wanted to make changes. I would do this through the data editor. For instance, if I wanted to delete an observation in my data set, so I could just have to click on this. This is an observation. Then I need to go to data. And then I out of that, I have to drop selected data. So this, observation number eight would go out of it just remember it's 161 something before it is 152 and 171 oh so that observation is just moved out of the data so similarly we can do the same thing with our uh, drop with our a variable with a, so we can delete a column out of it out of the entire data set for that we have to drop select the column then right click on it then out of data, we have to drop selected data. So are you sure you want to drop? So if you want to delete it, you can just press the drop button and then it will go out of the data. So we learn how to delete one cell. We can delete a variable. We can delete an observation. So for example, if you want to delete a particular cell, you can do so by clicking on that cell and that, that that cell is gone. 
so if I want to delete this observation I have to click right click on I have to left click on the entire row right click then drop selected data out of this and you can see this is gone so that's pretty about it thank you very much for having me and I hope you have learned something out of this tiny mini lecture please stay tuned for more lectures and videos in Stata. Thank you very much for having me. Have a very good time. See you in another video on startup. Happy learning.